Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Pisces person out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that you may have in your chart or however it may be relevant to you, you may find messages in the reading. If not, you're free to check out any of the other 11 videos. You may find messages there. All my contact information is in the description box as well as the link to my Patreon if that's something you're interested in. And um, welcome back to all my subscribers. Welcome if you're not subscribed. Feel free to do so. And we're jumping right in for Pisces. Messages for their greatest and highest good. What do we have for Pisces? First week of June. Time is also not linear. We're also all on different timelines. So this may, this may have already happened. This could be happening in the future. This could be happening now. All right. What else do we have for Pisces? Pisces. Two cards out. What else do we have for Pisces? I'm also going to pull some oracles for you at the end. Moonology card, work your light oracle, as well as a animal oracle card just to give you some more guidance for the week i do only take jumpers patience is necessary these cards are kind of sticky what's going on pisces sticky situation feeling stuck someone's feeling stuck what else for pisces They should be like this. Okay, cards are out. I think one extra flipped too. Okay. Alrighty, bottom of the deck, Pisces. We have the Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding back their time and energy. Um, this could be you keeping your time and energy, um, withholding on your time and energy to yourself or your money, literally. But pentacles also represent time and energy, right? Things we give our time and energy to. So either you're holding back your time and energy from somebody in particular or someone is doing this to you subconsciously, consciously. Let's see what's going on. Past energy, we have the page of pentacles and the six of wands. Something new here could be an earth sign you're dealing with, but something new here. There's you're curious about something is what I'm getting or someone is curious about you. Page of Pentacles is an energy of new things, studying new things, things we're not usually, you know, we don't have any type of expertise in something we've never, you know, dabbled in before, kind of peaking our energy. This is also an energy of studying. So some of you could definitely be studying a new trade, starting a new business, putting things in order, learning what you need to learn in order to do that or whatever you know, working out whatever it is for you, but definitely something has you curious here. Something has your interest. Something has your eye. Um, with the six of wands, this is victory energy, public recognition as well. Some of you could, this could definitely be pertaining to work. Um, you know, whatever it is that you're studying, you want to be victorious and you want to be noted for, but this is actually being noticed, being, being recognized for your abilities, being praised, people, you know, appreciating you, public recognition, recognizing you for what you're worth, what you're what you're good at. So some of you could definitely receive some of this in the future. It, receive some the type of recognition with something new that you've maybe invested in. Um, or you could be literally be in the public eye or dealing with someone in the public eye, right? Alrighty. Present position, we have the nine of wands with the temperance card, Sagittarius energy, major arcana. Someone is cautious here. Someone is very cautious. Someone has their guard up. Someone um, is interested, curious, but they're not quite just jumping in yet, right? This could be be you or someone that you're dealing with. Maybe it's you if you're curious or whatever it is you're curious about. You're not quite ready to just jump in yet or, or this is someone around you. Sagittarius energy tempers, divine timing here. There needs to be some balancing of the situation. It looks like the um, the universe is helping you with that, whether you see it or not, because you can see it's behind this guy's back, right? He doesn't know that the universe is actually trying to work things out behind the scene, but patience is necessary. Patience is needed here. It's also a card of patience. Um, so yeah, maybe this person is aware they need to have patience. They're just maybe not aware that the divine is, is working on it. But either way, it looks like in the divine time, Maybe this cautiousness will be put to an end, if not, hopefully, right? Or in time, someone is going to be ready to fight for something because that is also an energy of not giving up. Actually should be like this. 
Okay, future, we're looking at the Nine of Pentacles, another nine. Nine, nine could be significant with the Ten of Swords. So single energy, not necessarily single, but independent energy, I should say. Someone is very independent here. Someone, um, you know, they've got things going on for themselves. They, you know, they can hold their own. They can mend and fend for themselves. They're very well taken care of from themselves. They're very, you know, happy in whatever position they're in. Um, whether they're in a relationship or not, this person is self-contained. They can take care of themselves with or without someone. They're very abundant in that aspect, right? With the nine here. This is also an energy of admiration. People admiring you for those exact qualities, being very self-sufficient. Two cards of admiration here. So there definitely could be someone that's admiring you for, you know, how well you hold it down. This could be this person that's holding back how much they really admire you. Very curious about you. Very defensive as well. Not quite ready to uh, come forward yet because they are still maybe getting themselves together. And that's where that divine timing temperance energy come in. But they're definitely admiring you. This could be someone in the public eye as well for some of you. Or you have, you know, your eye on something. You're not quite ready to... to um present yourself to this person yet but this person is very self-efficient and you you see that you recognize that right with the ten of swords um something coming to an end ten speak to ending usually swords are our thoughts so this could be different situations in our life that has betrayed us has you know really stabbed us in the back or this could also be us stabbing ourselves in the back by the way that we think right because swords do represent thoughts this could definitely be an end to toxic thought patterns as well. This is not betrayal from past relationships and past traumas and putting that behind you. That will be the case for some of you. But this is also putting an end to toxic thoughts, toxic, um, you know, patterns of thinking. Because whatever happened in the past that you felt hurt by, you didn't, you know, it didn't kill you. It made you stronger, right? And that's always a blessing. That's probably what put you in this energy. If this is you that is putting an end to toxic, you know, relationships, people, thought patterns, it's putting you in this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, which is what's getting you admired. It has someone very intimidated also, I feel. Five of Pentacles, I mean, Five of Cups is an extra card that we did get out. It was flipped over. So someone has some regret here. Someone is regretting the way things went down. Um, maybe this is someone that you met or know, or this could be you regretting giving so much of your time to negative shit and energy right but this is also a card of me that you change your perspective so if this is you that is regretting wasting your time excuse me wasting your time on on people that didn't deserve it that perspective needs to be changed it needs to be released right you do still have love that's worth investing in whether it's yourself or someone else but you just need to turn around and stop focusing on this bullshit right Let's get you some oracles. Pisces. First week of June. What do we have for Pisces? Messages for their greatest and highest good. Two cards. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. We do have a full moon coming up, I think, in five days. Um, well, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it's going to be this week sometime. Full moon in Gemini. Definitely could be some communication happening too because Gemini, Gemini does rule communication. So maybe there's a conversation that needs to happen where you'll get whatever answers or questions you may have, right? Answered or someone has some answers for you, could be. Take time to breathe out. Absolutely. I think this is you realizing that your perspective needs to change. You're good. Despite what has happened in the past, you're good. It's only made you be very, very... Um, you know, self-efficient and independent and able to hold your own. And people are admiring you for that, whether you know it or not. People are definitely admiring you for that. Maybe you might be a little bit intimidated as well to to, to approach because of that strength that you're exuding. But there definitely seems to be a conversation that's going to be coming in for you. Maybe this is someone else that is regretting what has happened in the past and they feel the need to maybe talk to you about it definitely up to you whether you let that happen or not we have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle absolutely what i was saying right you're realizing that this is an asset this pain that you've gone through you can actually use it to propel you into a very very positive direction right it's like a battery Okay, you could put a battery in, you know, a piano and learn to play like Mozart or something. Not a battery, but, you know, you could put a battery in a flashlight and turn the light on. Or you could put a battery in, 
you know, a, a gas tank and bomb out some people, right? It's the same battery, but what are you using the energy for is, is the point. Then, you know, if you, if you get where I'm going with that. But you did get a lot of cards. Rabbit. Now is a lucky time. This is another card of abundance, multiplication in any aspect that you're looking for. If you're wanting babies, that's possible. If you're wanting money and you want to multiply your, you know, assets or whatever you want to do, that's absolutely possible in this time frame. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Absolutely. This is also an energy of DNA being. So some of you are definitely getting pregnant. Parrot spirit. Watch your words. Another confirmation of a, of a conversation that may be coming in for some of you. Speak your truth, right? Speak from a place of truth and authenticity. Panther spirit. <laughs> Reclaim your power. 44. Could be significant for you. Reclaim your power. Stand in your power, right? You didn't go through all that bullshit to, just, to still be, you know, dimming to fit in. You're a light. I think this one said you're a light, right? Pillar of light. Let it be known. You didn't go through all that bullshit for nothing. All right, Pisces. These are the messages I have for you this week. I hope they were helpful. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if they were. And I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.